This is Million Dollars Worth of Game. First and foremost, we want to apologize for Monday's episode. Got cut a little short. A little bullshit incident happened. We apologize. So I want to apologize first and foremost. That's why we ain't coming with no music. You know what I mean? But um, had a little technical difficulty, so... But we back. No, we're going to be men about it. We had a little scuffle because, uh, you know, uh, I initiated. too fucking I, much. Yeah, I initiated because I'm sorry. I want to apologize to you. I want to apologize to the fan for disrupting y'all's show. I just want to let y'all know we're not going to do that no more. You know what I mean? We, you know, sometimes when he say stuff, he, you know, he, he, he challenged me. I, I tap into our childhood. I relive, you know, revisit our childhood when we were kids. And I used to jump on him then. And so I, I tried it again. So, you know. But it's, it's different. Normal. It's different when y'all grown, cause like it looked like it started off playing, and that shit got mad serious. You yeah, know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. And like you fuck right. everything up is like fucking up the table, and people would be real concerned about like like this show has to work, dog, because y'all niggas already getting bread, and I'm not. Oh no, it's so work. I need this shit to work, niggas. So we work. keeping this show together for my pockets. Sometimes I think he need a little uh, not on duty physical attention because uh, you know. First of yeah. all, take them glasses off then. No, no, I'm not. Listen, I'm not. We ain't gotta get it. Yeah, let's not get into that. We're not gonna get it. We're not gonna see. See, see everybody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was me. I slid something in. We we doing. I apologize for that. Both of y'all received minor injuries. Yeah, we both got war wounds, so it's cool. Minor injuries. He got no war wounds. He's fucking scratched me. I mean, like, kind of. I mean, he yoked you, you and about. scratched First, you, but you called him with a clean. Earl is rolling around in his fucking no, what grave, is when knowing I hit, you out here. I hit him with the claw, and he no. was, you know, what I mean, First no, he all. really did catch you with a clean three piece, bro. Like it yeah. was like a three, like the one part kind of. He bit me though. He bit me though. He bit me though. He bit me. He bit you first. He bit you first, which was then I tended your fucking windows. I think he bit you. I don't want you to please don't spark nothing up like, again, Dev. I'm not. I'm just. I'm keeping it real. Of what, what happened? First Fights of all, happened. let's be for real. The nigga scratched me like. No, Ronnie that was the claw. Earl the claw in his hit. grave. That's if he when knew I, I clawed him. You was out here fucking scratching men like uh, a, uh, a whore cool, getting cool, dicked cool. down. It was cool. Like <laughs> fuck. Not on duty. With you. I will say this is cool. But did you? Why you bite me though? You bit me. Because there ain't boxers, no rules in fighting. No, nigga. Mike Tyson biting Mike Tyson and he, and, bit and, and, the man in the holy field. And nigga. he think he's a boxer. What I right. did learn out of watching y'all fight is that I would definitely fuck both of y'all up. Dev, listen, we trying to we trying to get can I'm we all saying, get along? I, I'm all way over can here. Can we all so get along, I'm Dev? In this, like, I'm in but the Dev, can we all get along no Dev? Computers and shit. Like, first of all, you talk about the show need to first of all, you talk about the show need to go on. We need to start the first of all, you'll fuck wallow up. <laughs> I attend your shit too. You be right in here with glasses on too, just like this nigga, looking like Listen, fucking. He looking like all the I'm gonna fly. Say this. I'm gonna just say this. No, I say this. You do, yo, you do <laughs> look like Ray Charles. Say this. Yo, you look like you nigga look like Wallow Charles. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not fucking gonna. Ray I'm not gonna entertain your your, hey, your little. I'm, you remember trying, the old movie The Fly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga look like. <laughs> yo. <laughs> Yo, he kind of looked like R. Kells with the with the. With the oh, don't ever miss my name. Don't ever miss my name with his best friend. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's not. Don't do that. Please don't mention me with R. Don't do that. Don't mess my name. I don't put no smut on my name. I'm not R. But I will say this. I will say this. And we Rev. gotta buy one a new microphone because niggas cool. done broke fuck the, the fuck the other but microphone. But I will say this. I will say this. Earl would have been proud of my work. No, you scratching niggas? Did listen? Like a no whore true war. Down? No true warrior. Not on duty. No true warrior come out of war without war wounds. Yeah, but you was a little rusty. First of all, G Gil looked sharper than you in that joint. Like I'm, like no, it was as soon as soon as I'm I, starting to think you're. Soon as that, you're, oh, oh, oh. Soon as that motherfucking Jim cleaned his fucking eye. I'm gonna just say this. I'm gonna say this. Right I'm really starting to think. I'm really window. starting to think Dev is a uh, Gilly groupie. No, because you keep you didn't see none of my work. You just didn't see nothing I done. He seen you scratch. I, I saw. I'm just saying it looked. And you're a martial artist. He looked, you, you're signed with a boxer. So which side are you? Maybe on? Maybe it was the because amount of the space of that day. you had to work because y'all was trapped back there. But he put in a little bit more work. He bit me, you. Dev. Dev, he bit me. I feel you. So that part was kind of foul, but it is a fight. Now, if you listen, if you're gonna be a real man and you're not gonna be a GDK groupie and you're just gonna, met, what happened? Did, like, like, who won? Who would have oh, been? Who oh, came oh, out? All right, so you okay, was about. To, I feel wait, like wait, you wait, was, wait, wait. This is just say it all. Just take your glasses off. No, go ahead, Def. I feel like it, he. You might have been able to get the choke out. He bit you. He did what he had to do. He got out. No he, Philly shit. He definitely once y'all, you know, knock the jaw down, start arguing. He caught you. With that first joint, cool and he one, followed Dev, up. Dev. No, he, fo let me tell you he followed Dev. up with let two. Let me tell you something, Dev. He will always be my little cousin. That's something that ain't gonna never change. One thing about this, you all, little cousin. All the young boys watching this understand that. And you doing, little cousin. In every your sense, even back then, when we was partying a bitch, he knew he was little cousin. He looked the goddamn cousin is cremating this bitch. 
Well, I'm Damn, glad we back because because these niggas didn't speak to each other for the last couple no, of days. No, because at the end of the day, it was just like back in the day when we parted. In bitch, I ain't speak to him for a week because I thought he was bird watching. Like he look over top of damn, cause <laughs> you slaying this bitch. I ain't know you had it like that, cause I said what? Hey, what like what? <laughs> Niggas, you talk about my piece, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? I'm gonna just about say this once show. again. Uh, this is million dollars worth of game. Uh, we're back. I'm Wallow two six seven. We this don't is, say it like that. How you supposed to say? Oh, oh, oh. How you supposed to say it? Listen, I understand, but I want to say something first. I want to just you know what I mean. I'm going to let you announce yourself. So I'm Gilly no, the King. No, no, I didn't say you had to announce yourself right now. I don't want it to be no altercation. I'm just, I'm just saying. Don't announce me, then, nigga. I said you gonna announce yourself. I'm not All gonna right. announce you. Fuck is wrong with you? I keep telling you, nigga. I'm Isaiah Thomas. You Joe Dumars. See, at the end of the day. Tough Fuck guys, man. Tough guys finish last. That's all I'm going to say. And I mean, but uh, now, you know. It, it, if I was Isaiah Thomas or you, Joe Dumars, who would Dev be? Bill he's Lambert. Dev, no, no, no. He's no, Bill he, I'm no, like no, the no, water no, boy. No, 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 no. He's Dev Nasty. He would have to be, he would have to be Dennis, Dennis Rod, Rodman. Dev Rodman. 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 No, nah, that nigga had That'd on a wedding. No, that nigga had on a wedding dress. Outside of that, yeah, 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 but that's spicy, Hold up. Your name is Nasty. Yeah, but he had on a wedding dress, I'm not Outside of the wedding dress, your name is Nasty Dev. Right. Rodman, it's cool. Right, it's cool. Right. Nah, real talk, and, and I'm gonna keep it all the way real. You said you used to be fucked up back in the day working at Office Max. Yeah, look at your rebound game. Legendary. You stepped your shit up. Your rebound game is legendary. Look how you rebound. You're a rebounder. Back. You're a rebounder. Nah, I can't be him though. Can you pick a different basketball player, please? You, Devis Rodman. <laughs> nah, nah, not Dev, Devness. Nah. <laughs> That was legendary, right? That was a legendary. That was a legendary. Oh, now they're cool again because they back. Because they see, back see, making fun see, of stop me. Stop that! Stop that! But right now, to everybody that's watching, I just want to happy to let y'all know you're back to me, 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 million dollars worth of game. I'm Wallow two six seven. This is see tune theme the fuck up. He got it. Right. Can you Gilly the nut. Gilly the nut. This is Gilly the nut. This is Gilly the nut right here. Right here is our producer Dev Nasty, aka Devin Rodman, <laughs> the nasty one, the rebounder of the league, <laughs> right? Yeah, but listen, because for years Dev used to be, <laughs> Dev used to be rebounding niggas, bitches. I want to get, I'm gonna get right into something special. Dev was the bull. Hold on, Dev was listen, the bull back in the day. His, his whole that. motto was a shoulder to cry on turns into a dick to ride. That's on. true. Listen, now that we know that you're Devin Rodman, I want to get to this, this ever, this. In, how can I say, this is not of, uh, this is a little different. This, uh, who would you be? And this is sponsored. This That's, is different. Okay, come on. This is different. This okay. is because we're talking about he's Devin Rodman. We got some guys. Who, mm, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not saying that about some great. Some great guys from our history of our the black culture. And this, who would you be? Is sponsored by Citywide Towing. Listen, man. These listen. You got cars that are just sitting on the block. These guys buy junk cars. Not only that, if you need roadside assistance, whatever. City. Listen, man. Citywide Towing. They're coming to hook you up. They're going to hook you up. Deb, your, your car ever break down? No. You ever you ever break your car down the road? Yeah. How many down? Who can't? Because remember back in the day, I had the old Delta, the, the Burgundy Delta 88 with the nastiest rag top. Yeah, but city. listen, guess what? Peeling. You did break down one time. We broke down one time. We would have been better if we had citywide towing back then. They would have came and serviced us up, got us out of there because we didn't know. But we really didn't know what was going on with the car. Right. We just drive a buy, back in buy the day, a lemon. You buy yeah, a lemon and just drive. You share a car. Back in the day, we used to just share cars. Oh, you got two fifty? I got two fifty. Let's share a car. One day you park it at your crib. One day I park it at my crib. We drive it wherever. We just be every. You don't know nothing about no turn ups, no oil chains. You just drive it to die. And then when it die, you need to really be calling Citywide Tone, but they wasn't around. If Citywide Tone was around, we'd have been hooked up when we got on the side of the road. So if you need, I'm talking about, if you got junk cars on your block, you got a junk car that's just sitting in front of your house, Citywide Tone. Make some money off it. Listen, Citywide Tone is the people to call because if you got a junk car, who is you calling? If I got a junk car, I'm calling Citywide Towing, and I'm calling 610-606-1011. Let me Six ask you a question. Oh. There's a lot of niggas out here with junk bitches living with them. No, I don't Can know nothing about that. Citywide Towing to come. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, oh, what about the, oh, who do you call if you somebody got uh, junk jury? Citywide Towing. Citywide Towing, they're going to come, they're going to tow all that jury off of your neck, <laughs> and they're going to take it to the nearest trash can. <laughs> If you got jewelry on your wrist and your neck, hold up. I'm not, no, no, this is not a diss to Raheem and none of that, but I'm just saying. If you, if you got some things that need to be towing, if you roll side of, if your jury need assistance <laughs> and your jury's on the side, you might got to call Citywide Towing so they could, so they could tow that jury what, or get your jury some assistance. Where do they tow out of? They tow out of Philadelphia and Atlantic City. Citywide towing. Anyway, roadside assistance. You got a junk car. Listen, if you got any junk cars, call Citywide towing. 610-606-1011. Let me say that again. 610-606-1011. Citywide towing. 610-606-1011. 
Okay, could you please stop banging you, on listen, the table? Nigga? I messed you up. My fault for banging on the table. But you, you, you're so stupid. You didn't even peep what I said. I said 11 11. You didn't even peep that. So what do that mean? If I said 10 11 11, that means 1 1 1, right? What the fuck are you talking about, man? <laughs> listen, man. It, All that, right. Yeah. Yeah, but it don't even matter. The number was right there. But listen, uh, I want to get into this. this Citywide Tone. Uh, Citywide Tone is everything. And they're sponsoring this. Who would you be? Dev, Gil, who would you be? Eddie Murphy, Rick James, or Prince? Um, I'm rocking with Prince. Why? Why? And I understand he did have high Why? heels on. He did have his ass cheeks out, my dad. God, no. But he definitely but had. But that's you. No, no, but no, no. But this is why, no, no, no. I'm going to tell you the real. I'm going to tell you a real fact of my life, man. When I was a kid. You used my to wear mom, high heels. My mom, no. Uh. My mom never, <laughs> like, censored no movies. Like, I watched anything. Pornos. I wanted, right? Not pornos yet. Oh, okay. But. The, probably the first naked lady I ever saw it was Prince. No, oh, no, I'm, I'm just, stop that. It was oh, Apollo. Oh, it was Apollonia. Purple rain. It was purple rain. Classic Apollonia. Movie. I might have been like four or five years old, something like mm -hmm. that. And I seen that, and I think that kind of made me like look. For what was chicks. her name? Apollonia. Did she have an apple? I just remember the titties. It was like a titty John. Though them pups were sitting up like the kids on Christmas Eve, huh? Yeah, and then I started like zoning in, looking for chicks that kind of looked like. Abalonia a little bit Like you know that Little Spanish type Little vibe You've been there ever since I mean I done veered Excuse all, me. over, all over the place But yeah that's where I'm at now Who would you be? Is Eddie Murphy <laughs> Prince And who's the third one? And my man Rick Rick James <laughs> You better not say Eddie No they call Eddie with them <laughs> Wasn't it was No it no no Who would you be man? You And then tell us why no, do I, do no, I think he about to say what. No, I was no, 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 no. Let, let him say who he be, and then and then I explain to him. Because oh, you trying to trap think, him. I'm I, not no, trying to trap nobody. No, I think I would be Rick James because Rick James the one. Then Rick James, him and his woman like they kidnap somebody, and make him, him get high. Oh yeah. I'm, oh, so I'm, so, yeah. so you and Tootie gonna kidnap somebody, and make him get high? Yeah. So they gonna smoke Reggie all day. Even if it was coke, it don't matter. <laughs> we going to the moon, like. And you could, let me just say, let me just say this. I've never smoked coke, right? <laughs> But I could imagine the fucking time you would have you and two broads in an eight ball of that shit. But oh Lord, that's a little wild. That's but, like that's like y'all gonna have a time of your life. You may not never come back to planet Earth, but y'all gonna have a time of your motherfucking life. Like I ain't like Eddie's a legend out here, but. I don't know if I'm being Eddie. Like, I think, yeah, I think. And, uh, Rick, I mean Prince, he's a legend too. But I'm uh, the dress code wasn't. Like, and I always was hearing stuff like Eddie Murphy, something with him and other uh, boy Johnny Gill too. What? Whoa, whoa, what what Gil, <laughs> not D Johnny Gill, man. Ain't nobody say Gilly. No, no but, but I'm Johnny saying, Gill back in the day, you know, we, we already know. You we know we gotta say, we ain't gotta say that no more. All right. I don't, I don't, I don't know how true yeah, it is. Let's, but yeah. I will say, but this. that's the thing. Johnny Gill keep popping up in a lot of these allegations. But my, I will. My, my. <laughs> So you'll be Rick, ma, 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 ma. you'll be Rick Nasty. I'm Rick Nasty. I'm Rick James too. I gotta be because he was Why? a legend. Because and Rick did a bit, so I might as well go ahead and fall in that category. <laughs> he did a bit, came home, let everybody know who he was. My man Dave brought him back, brought him back to life. Dave Chappelle, shout out to him. He brought him back to life. Rick was just eleven. He was, but listen, ho. ho. But you can't hold on. You you gotta be Eddie Murphy because you, how you gonna be? Oh, Rick I'm, James? I'm, I'm okay. gonna be Eddie. Okay, what, 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 what you want me to be Eddie for? Okay, let me just say this. How you want me to be? You that? gotta be Eddie or Prince. No, 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 no. You have I, to. I'm gonna be Rick. You can't be Rick. How? Oh, oh, you only get. Oh, okay, hold on. How could Rick Jacket say he kidnapped motherfuckers and he made them smoke coke? You don't even smoke or drink, never in your life. How the fuck can you be Rick James? Yeah, that's true. You don't even smoke or drink. But he was real in no, the. No, it's not about. That don't matter. You don't, do you, you smoke don't coke? Smoke you don't smoke drink. coke. I smoke weed. Do you smoke coke? I smoke weed and I try wet back in you the day. You smoke crack? Did you, what? what? You hold on, crack? let's rewind. You smoked some butt neck wait. before? I smoked You didn't ever tell me this. Hold on, wait. When did you smoke butt neck? Hold, hold on, It was, I was going to strip out. Did you strip out? No, I didn't. I didn't do what everybody else did. You stripped out. It was some bad shit. When did you strip out? It wasn't that shit. It wasn't that good shit. But you said, bad shit. He was smoke. Because you said, I can't be rich because I don't smoke. Did you smoke crack before? No. Hold on. But this is. Did you and Tootie kidnap a woman before and have her in your room all night? No. Well, why it took you too long to say that? No, is you a Tootie I'm, kidnappers? No, but what I'm saying is, if Tootie was up for it, I mean, I wouldn't argue with her. Oh, so you'll kidnap somebody? Uh, if Toot was up for it. Hold on, but Wallow did love Jerry Curls. Like, he was real into Jerry Curls. 
and and, and the bull Rick Jay-Z's. James had to join. So that would right, might have been him. Eddie Murphy, Eddie Jerry Curl. No, no, did it? Not no. And no, but listen, let, let me just say. And, and it was dry. He's used to. He like dry. <laughs> no, 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 I don't. No, I don't. Rick shit was wet. No, I don't. No, I don't. He like dry. Let me just say this. Let me say this. His Jerry Curl was Canada dry. Let me say this though. Let me say this though. And listen. Let me say this. Just for the record, he had a Jerry Curl back in the day, and he had one little joint coming down the in front of his eye like Michael Jackson. Let me say this. That's all I'm saying. For the record. Nobody Jerry Curl was like Ricks. It was legendary. So why wouldn't I want to be no, Rick no, no, James? No, 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 you lying. Why wouldn't I want to be... Deion Sanders shit was like Ricks. Deion Sanders, listen, Deion Sanders... Deion Sanders shit was better than Ricks. Deion Sanders... But his joint was like no. made out, out, no, 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 out no, no, of Ricks. Like no, no. he wanted Ricks. Because Deion Jones. Sanders was cheating. He was using cooking oil. That's why. He was using cooking what? oil. Yeah, Dion was using cooking oil. Man, Dion ain't put no Crisco in this shit. He put Crisco in there. What he used to do is, he used to let Crisco sit out and let it simmer down. He used to just put it. He'd cook it first, let it simmer down, and he and he'd wet his tip with it. Wow! So that's oh, how he got his shit like super shiny. Not on duty. Not on duty. Not on duty. That shit. Listen, not on duty. But listen, oh, yeah. what, listen. Yeah. And what he'll do is what he'll do is. Mercy. And and I think and I think Dion had a Jerry Curl wig. It, wow! It, that's it's stories a, out there. Now, stories out there about that's that. That's a crazy allegation out, to no, put no, no, on a nigga. Man, what he he know? I told him to his face. He said, "Man, they was just hating on me." No, everybody not hating on you, D. Yo, Dion, you heard this. Everybody not hating on you. He had a Jerry Curl wig. I know he did. Wow. Mm-hmm. So we all agree and we all be Rick James. No, 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 no. He's going to no, be Prince. He's going to be Prince. That's right. He cheeks out. No, no, because Prince mm-hmm. had vanity too. That's but, right. But you yeah, had, yeah, oh, yeah, you're but wearing cheeks out pants though. Hold on. You're going to have vanity. He had Carmen Electra. He had he okay, had uh, okay. Apollonia. He had okay. all the bitches. That was his Let me friends. Ask you a question. No, it wasn't. But hold on, wait. And guess what? He had all of them, but guess what? In that hotel room, it was always four cheeks out. <laughs> Even when they was fully dressed, it was listen, four cheeks out. This is one thing about Prince. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just listen. All right, listen. If you got a secret <laughs> fetish about nah, my heels and having nah, your cheeks nah, out, nah, we're nah. cool with you that. Remix it. We don't judge. Like you yeah. had a fantasy about smoking coke. Like no, I had a fantasy <laughs> when he about that weed. No, no. I, I'm gonna keep it all we real. I always said when I was younger, before I was in a relationship, I always said I was gonna snort some yayo one time. Though. You did when did. you you did when you went in, uh, no, in the I music did. industry. I never did. I always said I wanted to though, but I was like, I gotta be like in a race. How many people? How many like, people you saw us get snorted well, in, the, in the music uh, industry? A like shitload of them. But listen, I always said Who? I gotta be in the right setting. Like like I gotta be like in the hills. I gotta be like in Calabasas with like three white bitches, and they set me up. Like you want to do a line? <laughs> you want to snort a line off my tit? Like and then I gotta excuse it. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> the, unfortunately. I met Toot and the sentence never came together. So what was so your I never excuse to no try yay. walkie then? I mean, I was young. I was, I was, just said, fuck it. Let's try it. <laughs> we only live once. Well, let's just say this. With all the Prince's weirdness, he never had no allegation of butt fucking little boys like your boy. Who, cool. Rick James? No, MJ. But let's keep uh, it, keep oh, it come pushing. On, dog. Stop putting that smut on MJ name, dog. I mean, it oh, is. Oh, you can, you're not in a position to say that. You did that too. You did that before. You put smut on MJ name. Right, right along with him. Yep. That was your code of I didn't put smut. I just said what the people said. Exactly. That's, that's, that's what the I just difference. said. Oh, no, what the people said, say is right? Is what the people say is right? I mean, people say you're another ass nigga, and I, I think they are 100% right. <laughs> I'm just actually take I'm that back because this is why all the cases happen. I'm trying to be peaceful. Yo, I'm trying to, right? yo listen, listen, Let me tell you listen, 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 listen. Let me tell you, you don't something. even want to have to wear those glasses longer. No. Can y'all no. not fight no, no, no more? No, no, you just going to hype. You just, I, I'm not hyping it. He's a groupie. He's a gilly groupie. No, what happens is it's fucked up when you got to put on two sets of sunglasses. You got one right here and one up here to hide the knots up here. That's all that's going to happen. I'm not even going to comment. I'm going to be the bigger man. I'm a, I'm a, I appreciate that. I'm going to be the bigger man. I, Yo, I'm you not. look funny as shit with them pups on. You should have got some <laughs> some Javinci's. Listen, man, I make anything look nah, good, baby. He want, he, he, he want to make sure you can't see through the yeah. side. And I'm getting flashbacks from back in the day when I was out there. like sh- the fly. Listen, I'm getting flashbacks back in the day when I was, because every time I just keep, you know, you got to check your, your joints. You keep checking my joints. At, you know what I mean? See, I got that out. You knew what was going on back in the day. If I got the pinky out, you knew what was going on. So you already knew what that was. He wasn't getting no bitches. You knew the pinky was decorated back in the day. <laughs> Anytime he, he put his pinky out, that means thing, he was going thing, home to jerk off. That thing will blind you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Peep that. Nigga jerked off with the pinky out. <laughs> yeah, it ain't about nothing else. That's a bougie jerk off. <laughs> That's a bougie jerk. Nigga jerk off with his pinky out. <laughs> Like he getting money. No, that, no, no. Hey, no ring on the motherfucker. No, no, that's, that's what it was for, baby. That's what that thing was for right there. Let me tell you something. I knew the disco nigga, ball. I knew the nigga who you grew up wanting to be like from down Allegheny. Mopey? Oh, no, no, that's a different story. We're going to leave that alone. Oh, I grew up hey, with the Tino. Yeah, you's a hater. Uh, listen, though. I grew up. Me, he already know. He already know who I was with growing up. Earl. He already know about that. But that's another story. But Earl didn't get bitches either. Earl, no, Earl paid for all his right, bitches. Right, Earl was a legend. Earl got the SSI I mean, no, I mean, check and bought that pussy. All that's the women cool. around the way went yeah, Earl. Every, Earl. Every woman around the way. All the hookers around Allegheny. All the women Allegheny. around the way went he Earl. He fucked all
we used to be waiting outside Earl House like for the I never seen Earl do that. I never, listen, Deb, I never seen Earl. But when, like, you, yo, but when you got the Golden Glow, you can't catch like, nothing. Listen, Everybody knows you can't get listen, AIDS. You listen, can't get whoa, AIDS whoa, with who's the glow. That? That's just a part of the arts. You supposed to be a master of the arts. You don't know if you got the glow, you can't get AIDS. No, I know a couple of martial artists. I'm talking about street martial artists that got that John that because they don't got the golden glow. It's like a shield on your body, dog. You could just put the glow on. So you just saying you just been all your life. You just been out here barebacking. No, that's not. Yes, what I'm he is. That's you say that. You're barebacking Bobby. You just like bear Bobby. I don't got the golden glow. He's bareback Bobby. <laughs> They'll be like this. It'd be a condom sitting there. She like, yeah, I'm ready. He like, I ain't gonna. He never. He never see the condom. He like. Condoms disappear. You never seen the condom he like. He got excuses. Oh, uh, and you shooting blanks. He like, like, he like they're shooting blanks. Hey, they're shooting blanks. Be like, I don't like lifestyles. They break they're me out. Ten. Magnums fit like a 4X hoodie. I don't like them either. <laughs> they're too baggy. I, hate, I don't like condoms. They're baggy, baggy on me. Condoms. They all baggy Every on me. Every time I wear Magnum, I got air in there. They're baggy on me. There's an air conditioner in my condom. <laughs> He wear baggy Yo. condoms. <laughs> that nigga don't oh. even. He, he got central air in that He only got the air conditioning the cheap joint. He got, joy the he, got a whole, <laughs> he got a whole system attached to the condom. He was like, I can't wait for him to come out with Magnum minis. <laughs> I need one. I'm putting a lawsuit against him. They're discriminating against my kind. The itty bitty committee. <laughs> Yo. Let me, let me the little guys. <laughs> let me ask y'all a question. How important is a manager to an artist that's trying to, you know, to an artist that's trying to come into the game and to an artist that's in the game. I'm going to ask you that. How many managers you had in your career since you've been in the game? I had, a, I, had a, I, had a, I had a few. You know what I mean? And I think management is super important to the young artists. You know what I'm saying? For somebody to come in and kind of, you know, put some shape to you. You know, because let's be for real. A lot of times... In, in the urban community, you got a kid that be hot, and then who's the first nigga to invest some money in him? A nigga that's doing something illegal. Yeah. But he's sending motherfuckers up in the banks, having them come out with the checks that wasn't really checks, but they haul ass out that bank with that 6000 <laughs> jumping the car. <laughs> whether whether niggas selling crack cocaine, whether he's selling weed, what no matter what he's doing, a lot of times the motherfucker to invest in a nigga from the hood be a nigga that's doing something Ill illegal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we know. Right. So <laughs> but at the same time, you gotta understand this. A lot of times motherfuckers who be Good hustlers, they really be intelligent people. They just be directing their energy in the wrong. They be dealing places. with the wrong product. So switch their product so, up sometimes. So sometimes, even though this nigga might be he a hustler, he do this, he do X, Y, and Z. He also be be lacing you with some game too. You feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of times they be the niggas that dress the artists. They let the artists hold they roly. Sometimes they be like, fuck it. I'm going to drive the Honda. Go ahead, nigga. You drive the motherfucking bands. Nigga, we got to get your image up. And that's more than a manager, by the way, that those but, things but, they doing. Yeah. But at the end of the day, so for a young artists, a lot of them be needing that guidance. Not only do they be needing the, the money and the, and the, you know what I'm saying, and the look, because your look is your hook. You can't be talking about, oh, you just left out the Fendi store and your Pumas is dicked. Your Pumas look like you ride four-wheelers all day. You just wheelie four-wheelers down Broad Street for no reason. So a lot of young boys be needing the guidance. When you get to a certain age, all the money that I make come directly to me. Gilly, I got a company. I need marketing and promotion. Gilly. Because yeah, to be accessible to people now is so easy to DM away. All you got to do is say the right shit in the DM. I mean business. Put the dollar signs up. Nigga, get back to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So for the young artists, a lot of times, they be needing the guidance. For older artists, it be like, mm, I make all the money myself. Why the fuck would I be giving you 15, 20%? Yeah. I can speak for myself. I done learned the game. 
why the fuck? Now, if you got a high power manager who's bringing you the super bag, that's something different. Then you have to weigh your options. Like, uh, no, he no more motherfuckers than me. He can make a call right now and get me the bag. Yeah. Then you weigh your options. But a lot of times when, like, Fabulous probably don't need a manager. Uh, <laughs> kind of. He got one, though. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, but what they I'm do. saying is, in actuality, he, you know what niggas need managers for? Go ahead. To weigh through the bullshit. Exactly. So that's, to talk to... Exactly. To talk to the eight niggas to only get to the one check. Yup. That's what niggas need managers for. And sometimes you need a manager to say no for you. But... My conversations because you can't say it. Yes, oh, no, no, shit. I tell no, motherfuckers no all the, the time. No, no, no. But the, it's a reason why they act as a buffer. And sometimes it's not just uh, a manager that's an older head. We got some youngins out here right. that, that work because the artist might be phenomenal at making music. They be an introvert. They don't do handle business certain ways. And they got a homie, same age, that know how to sit in the meetings, put plays together, oh, and you make it. So, so shout out, shout out to John. Mir Fontaine and them, they hold camp. They got a machine that they put together as the, young the, boys. The artist could be Valley. The, the artist could be younger sometimes. If I mean, the uh, management could be younger sometimes. If you dealing with an artist who got his shit together, so oh no no, I'm, I got my, I'm, I'm cool. I just need you to make business handle business for me. You feel right. what I'm saying? Bring right. that money to me. I just need you to bring the money to me. You connect it. I'm cool. I don't need you to provide the look for me. I don't need you to provide the vehicle for me. I don't need you to provide those things for me. I'm a grown ass man. I got this. But a lot of times artists get snatched up when they 17, when they 18, when they 19. Nigga ain't never even had a job yet. Nigga fresh out of high school, but he got talent. Somebody see him and they believe in him. So, you know, you got to weigh your options out. There's a lot of motherfuckers out here that got managers that giving up a shitload of money for no fucking reason at all. Yeah. It's like that nigga don't bring nothing to the table. And those managers you're are more like nigga, investors. You're giving this nigga twenty percent just to answer phones. And he don't even really even bring no money in, but you still breaking them all. A manager go find money that you don't know about, right? Like, like I ain't even gonna front when I, you know, when I, you know, came home was doing my thing. I said I always talked to girls. I said, Yo, what you think about a manager? She said, Wallow, why you need a manager? How much money you make a month? I told him. He said, Who get that money for you? I said, Me. He said, Exactly. And. Sometimes it's about what you're doing out here. If you're really moving and shaking, people are going to find you. Like, I got myself on TED Talk. Got me on NFL Network. Got a foot locker. Did all type of stuff I done had made happen by myself. Right. So at the end of the day. But I'm not every, saying you don't need a manager. Yeah, right. Some people can't you navigate gotta like I can. Shit. Right. You know what but I mean? But at the end of the day, it's like this. If all the money come to me, why the fuck am I paying you? So you, you, could, you could do a shit like this, too. Uh, you're my manager for the money you bring in. So if you bring some money in, you get some of that. You get, but I'm not going to broker a fucking deal and give you anything. And then call you up and say, "Oh, I got some money for you." No, the, that's hustling backwards. That's selling pussy in a gay bar. Yeah, <laughs> you got to go get any money that I'm going to break down or give you a percentage of. You better go find it. You better go find right. that money. Right. But definitely shout out to all the people that got their teams, that know their strength, yeah. that put it together. One boy know how to go get money this way. This dude know how to set up this. The artists know how to put that music together, yeah. whatever they do. It's about the team, team, though. Yeah, it it is about the together. team. Like, you know, if you out there, you doing anything, you need you need that you need that man on the camera. You need that graphic guy. You need that good that good producer or engineer of your squad. Like you said, you need that assistant or somebody that can handle it, that manager. Whatever you call them. Some people got assistants, too, yeah. that really act as managers. Yeah. You know, so whatever you need. So let's get into the segment of Million Dollars Worth of Game. This Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you and sponsored by, have you had any good hair lately? Me, I haven't, Gil haven't, Dev haven't, and our, we're not really feeling that, so we're going to make some changes soon, but <laughs> this, no, we're going to make some changes because we already figured it out. We already know what we're going to do. We'll surprise you and you'll see if we're changing. Please don't hate. Don't hate. Don't hate if you see me. You see oceans, Pacific Ocean. <laughs> you see the waves spinning, and you get dizzy when you see me. Just don't hate on me, please. Because you're not. If you're not hating on me now, don't hate on me then. Don't be jealous of me because I upgraded my. I upgraded my hairline. You mad at me? Oh, he got a hairline now. He didn't have a hairline before. My hairline is not sharper than his hairline, so yeah. I'm hating at him. But this is sponsored to you by Everything Diva Glam dot com. You just want to just get rid of the goddamn drop top with the tent on the sides just one time, huh? My tent is. I'm. I, I found somebody that can make my tent, the tent disappear. I'm going to talk to you about that. I'm going to give you a game on that. I got a hookup. <laughs> I got the hookup. <laughs> like Master P. Watch this. Hey, so they say, hey, big homie, I need some advice. 
Check this out. I was fucking with my ex shorty for about 10 years. Since middle school. On some on and off shit. She ended up getting married a few years back. But got divorced. She had a son and we ended up being on some official shit. Instead of on and off. I grew close to her little dude. Like he was mine's, but fell apart with her completely. Little dude still be calling me, but I don't even be answering because I don't know. I don't be answering because I know me and his mom ain't on the level no more. And it be toxic. It toxic to still be talking to little dude, especially if his mama really don't want me to. Am I wrong, OG? Well, let's just keep it real. You only gave a fuck about little man because you was blazing his mom. Niggas do that all the time. They be the best step fucking daddies they could be. When they sliding in. When they got sliding them and blazing her and blazing her. Hitting her and splitting her. You hear me? Buttering her fucking biscuits. Soon as the bitch say, I don't want to be with you no more. You don't even take calls from little nigga no more. Because if it was, if, if it wasn't, if it wasn't about the trim, you'll still be answering the calls from little Little man, you know what I'm saying? No question. Right. You'll still be, if it ain't had nothing to do, so why did you even, like, if it really was, y'all really had a real connection, that you really seen him as your son or your stepson, whatever, no matter what she on, you'll right. still have a communication with him so you could guide him in any type of guidance you was giving him. Why you, if you really care about him, why you stop giving Especially him guidance? Especially if she's not, like, stopping him saying, like, don't speak to my son she, or no, something said, like that. He right. says he At don't want to. the end wanna, of the day, he calling on his own. Yeah, yeah. So How old is this kid? It don't even matter. Nothing. He's calling on his own. Because so he's trying to talk to you because you had, you had some type of impact you. in his life. Why right. are you not you. answering for him? Right, because at the end of the day, you know I ain't answering. Because the pussy stopped answering for him. <laughs> ain't pussy stop. Hey, but let's be for real. That's not even his son. We got niggas out here who it be their kids, and they be like, oh, you ain't fucking with me no more? Fuck you and Lil Raheem. That's a fact, though. Wow. Bitch. Don't, bitch. Fuck is you on my line for? I don't give a fuck Raheem ain't got no pampers, bitch. Let his ass rash up then. Hold up, newsflash. Yeah, the no, reason niggas, we use, that, that's real shit. The reason we use names like Raheem, I usually use Raheem and Boo Boo. <laughs> so you can know, because they're na na names that we really know them in the hood. So that's why we use the name Raheem. But I ain't saying Raheem did that. That, that, that. That's just, I know a nigga named Raheem, but Raheem ain't like they take care of a little Raheem. But you talking about the jeweler or you talking about another Raheem? No, I'm talking about Raheem Raheem. Okay. But uh, I... I we know like that, five Raheem. Okay, so which you one know you Raheem. About? I'm talking about that. We knew all our fucking life, nigga. But how I, many? I don't really know Raheem the jeweler like that because I don't buy fake. But, but, but I ain't talking about Raheem. That's your that. I'm not talking about Raheem. Fuck is you talking Listen, about? Let the record reflect. And we might got to test them puppies. You got to test them. You already tested right. them. You front. Oh. You trying to hate on me now? You just don't hate. <laughs> I mean, but haters is your marketing team. Let them work. But I will say this: Stop acting like. In your mind, how many Raheems do we know all together? Yeah, we do, but. You know what Raheem will talk about. I don't know. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's like if you have real love for that young man, you'll answer. I answer for young guys who I don't know their mom or their dad. Mom never sucked the balls out my dick. But I just meet them and I be like, uh, I fuck with you and you some here's game. my number, youngin. Whenever yeah. you in the jam, you ever you need something, call me, man. I can give you some some proper advice. Yeah. So for me, it's like, nigga, you don't you don't want to answer the phone. This is a bullshit joint. You just heard she ain't, you know, she ain't giving you no no action. Yeah. And then Niggas you, will try to use then, the kid as a way back into but the then woman, too. The, flip, too. Side, the yeah. flip side of that, too, is you got raggedy ass bitches out here who be like, oh, you leaving me for that bitch? You'll never see your child again. Yeah, yeah because it's, I think I think a lot of times the dudes get beat up so much, they be dads. They get beat up on social social media. You don't know what it is. You never get a chance. They never get, they ain't got no voice. Because as soon as a woman say, oh, he's a deadbeat, hey, buddy, that's right, girl, I'm going through the same. It's like it's just a whole movement of that, but you, you don't right. acknowledge the brothers that's out here that's really doing their job. Even if you look at Mother's Day and Father's Day, mothers get roses laid out, niggas go buy rings, cars, all type of shit. Niggas be getting, niggas don't even wear suits and be getting ties from Marshalls. Niggas get a like, mug. I don't even wear suits. Like, nigga, he a, never wore a suit his life. He wear, he wear, he wear you like, and sweatsuits. Like, Lick, nick, niggas get the big piece of chicken. A lighter. Like, what, what oh, kind of shit oh, is that? Oh, you get they, your, they buy you a fucking mug, number one dad. Beer opener. But the no, fuck is this? But no, and, and, I don't and, drink coffee. And if, you, and, if you, <laughs> and if you're a vegetarian or vegan, you get a, a good, that's the day she make a, a legendary veggie burger for you. But any other day she don't make them. No, that's April, dog. She <laughs> yeah, cooks every fucking night. I don't know what you're going with over yeah, there. No, like, that's I'm not. Listen, like I don't, I didn't, listen ho, ho. We, ain't, we talking about people oh, that... But, they, but, but be, 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 be honest, anytime I call you, you cooking. 
Am we I both, lying? We both cook. No, you don't, bitch. You be big. Wait till you try this this, this gel shrimp with the cut. He lied. With the, with the, with the actually, D4 sauce. those don't know, I'm actually a with chef. With the cell block D4 sauce. Graduated at culinary school in jail. She got you on kitchen duty. Let me tell you no, something. No, she don't. Let me tell you something. When you go to, when you do these programs in jail. Oh, 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 don't tell me they don't count. They bootleg programs. Just to take. Listen, so listen, all that. I want the culinary no, 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 arts no, no, school no. in jail, nigga. Listen, the certification the I got you is had universe, another universally respected. You had to fuck the cook. No, we had we had a real a real a real culinary teacher from out in the real world. My listen, my certificate is universally they real is universally teachers. Okay, let me respected. just say this. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Let me no. just say this. What real teachers like? I want to go teach it. I want to go teach with the killers. <laughs> no. I want to teach killers how to cook spaghetti. That's a hell of a show. Think about that. I want to teach. I want to teach that man. Yo, who stabbed his out. wife? Right now, then, right oh, now, cooking, wanna, cooking hold with hold killers hold on A and E. Cooking with killers. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good joint. <laughs> Yo, uh, before y'all even see this, I'm gonna have a patent on that shit. Listen, let me cooking explain something with killers. killers. Oh let, yeah. Let me just explain something to you. I want to give a major shout out right now to from South Philly, my calling A instructor, Steve Deli. He was listen. He was a top flight call. Anybody know him? They know. Listen, there was upgraded for. You know what I mean? 08, 09, he was a culinary instructor. Shout out to Steve Daly. Wherever you at, man, you was everything. You made sure everybody passed because you 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 really was a because good teacher. Because you can't fail in jail. If you go, you pass. It's like, no, like, no, it ain't. No, he no, went, it's he, not. He, no, he, he didn't. He tried to be productive. He's he listen, no, no, he didn't. Like, what he did is, listen, Okay, no. hold on, hold on. Hold he on. made sure okay. you knew everything, okay. man. Okay, hold on, hold on. This dude was just, extraordinary. Let me just say this, right? Jail was supposed to kind of reform you, right? Right? Get you back right, right? Like, how the fuck would your confidence be if you in jail, you go to school and fail? People in do jail. fail. People like, do fail. Like, that's the motherfuckers. They should be like, you should stay here forever. You just, you're stupid as shit. Like, that's you, not the case. You have nothing like, like, let's be for real. How the fuck are you not up on your studies in jail when you sit in the cell, you have nothing to do? It's like, okay, let me at least see what's going on. I ain't got nothing to do. Like, fuck it. Like, like. So, because you passed culinary art school in jail, okay, come on. Give him a fucking round of applause. Like a fucking slow kid. Because, nigga, you would have had to been fucking slow not to pass that shit. Stop disrespecting the slow kids. I'm not, not, I don't have no problem. I'm a little slow. The fuck are you talking about? Yeah, you are. But I will say this. I will say this. At the end of the day, I am a, uh, I'm not going to say chef, I'm going to say I'm a great cook. You know what I mean? And uh, I do have Nigga, a- Nigga, oodles and noodles don't fucking count. No, I know how to cook all types of stuff. Like what? I don't have to explain that to you. A chef will tell you, a, cook, explain. a great cook will tell you, what they, what's that your you? favorite dish? What's your number one dish? I don't even, barbe- listen, barbecue pineapple shrimps. Bake. I believe you. I believe you because you I'm brought not. that up. I believe Hold you. On. I believe you. That First was a good all, one to put. Nigga that said barbecue pineapple shrimps. <laughs> I said shrimp. <laughs> Yo, you still Strips. said it wrong. I say shrimp. No, you're not the saying shrimp. Said, shrimp. The nigga said with a T. You know he, he can't. Had, he you made he barbecue can't talk. pineapple shrimps. You know he You say it then. Shrimps. Okay, cool. I believe you. What did you say? Your shrimps are the best. Shrimp. No, yo, yo no, it's shrimp. Y'all, no, it's not shrimp. It's shrimp, yeah. motherfucker. Shrimp. There you go. <laughs> yo, shrimp. That took oh. all the concentration. I don't understand. It's the I same word. Know. Shrimp. Hey, shrimp. Let me ask shrimp. Your I think it was from when Gilly hooked you in your jaw. No, your jaw was out of line. Let me ask you a question. He always. You got a chef. He's about to be the chef for your private party. He says. And you like? He say what you making? He like? I got the best barbecue pineapple shrimp. Yeah, fired. This nigga making shrimp. It's shrimp. Okay, cool. Shrimp, right? Okay, yeah, no, cool. it's not. Stop it. Is it you're say done. it. Say it. You're done. Say it. Shrimp. Everyone knows how to say shrimp. Nah, my son shrimp. say it like that too, and I'm like, "Fuck, are you shrimp. retarded?" It don't but even matter. Also, it's in the blood. Let me tell you something. Don't, no, no, do no, it matter. No, let me tell you something. Do it matter? Only niggas can't say that is when they tongue too big. Uh, yeah, listen, I don't. Bro, that's can we spicy. Skip? Not on yeah, duty. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying. No, that's a not on duty. Can we skip to the next thing, please? From that. Listen, uh, nigga, run around with an extra fat tongue for no reason. Shrimp. Yo, yo, we're gonna get into. We're going to get into this. Man. How the fuck is that a not on duty? Because he got an extra fat tongue. Yo, and he keeps on, saying, he keeps saying, I make barbecue pineapple shrimp. <laughs> See, Dad, I'm trying shrimps. to, I'm trying to re- restrain myself. Dad, Anybody want shrimps? He's goofy. Fuck, they would have never had you Super at the stinger. Super goofy. But listen, I will say this. Let's get into uh, stories from the cell. Stories from the cell. A lot of people couldn't test this. If you was ever at Greatest Four Prison between the time of, uh, that I was there, 08 to 2000 and Probably like 2012, 
13. Well, when you go on a visit at Greatest for it, you got to switch your uniform. You have your, your regular uniform that you wear in your cell, your brown shirt, your brown pants. But when you go into the, to go on a visit, you got to wear a brown jumper. That's all together. You just zip up, brown jumper. So when I first get to that prison, I go down there. I'm like, damn, okay. Normally, a lot of prisons, you don't have to strip out to go to your visit. You strip out when you come back so they can strip search you and make sure you ain't got nothing on you. Make sure you're not smuggling nothing in your offices or whatever that might be. Whatever the case might be. And some people, that's the Did you ever smuggle something in your No, no, no. The type of time you Was you a poofer? He had a prison prison wallet. Was you poofing when you went to jail? When you and Tootie went to jail? Did you poof something? Did you have. I was Did you poof some weed? Because you know you can't live without weed. Did you poof something? Well, then. Well, I would say this. So when I go on a visit, I go to, you know what I mean? I go to just put myself, he said, no, come on, come on, let's do it. I said, what are we doing? I'm talking about, it was this white boy. Anybody, that, I don't know, I can't remember this guy's name, but they remember this CO, the white boy that used to be in the, in the changing room when you go on your visit and greatest for it. So I go, he's up, come on, let's do it. I said, let's do what? What are you talking about? Let's do what? He said, well, come on. Mm, now nah, you got, mm, I got to see everything before you go out. What you got to see? I, I mean, you got my ID, you got my pass saying that I got to visit, you got me in the book. Like, what you got to see? Nah, mm. Take it all off. I said, whoa, what you going to take what off? Because I'm, because first of all, I don't know this is day, day procedure. I'm like, oh, you got to, I'm like, what? I'm not you. I'm just used to putting my stuff on and going out there. And then when I come, so I say, all right, man, you got to go through it. I said, all right, let me go on. So I'm just thinking he just want to, you know, do one of these where you go around your boxes. Because a lot of times, sometimes even when they shake your cell, the guards is not into that. They don't want to see nobody hammering. But then you got some, you got some, some, some sword lovers in there. You got a lot of guards and sword lovers. They love to see. I mean, black pipes. So they want to, they, straight up, they want to see, not on do, they want to see it. So I'm, I go, I go, I walk inside the joint. It's like a little box in the gate that you close this gate and you close this gate. I walk inside the box and I just go around my, my boxes because you got to have, like, put your fingers around and make sure it's so they know, oh, that he ain't carrying, you ain't got nothing, you ain't going. He said, no, mm-mm. I need to see them. This boy, everybody remember him that was the greatest for it. You pass him your drawers, he do like this. With your drawers with no gloves on. So that nigga was playing with your drawers? Yeah, he played with your drawers. Okay. Oh, hold on, cool. hold on, hold on. He did what? No, listen, no, that's he, cool. He, he got do his like drawers played with. Come on. I'll finish the story. No, because he had two hands wait, like wait, it was wait, somebody. I'm not going to entertain wait, wait, wait. I'm not going to entertain him. Once you give him your gloves, once you give him your drawers, he be from here. He do like this to make sure nothing in him. Okay. And then he going to tell me, okay, show him my mouth and I ain't do anything. I'm like, all right, cool. I my thought feet. you said he licked wait, his drawers. No, he licked his drawers. Hold up. Hold up. So so he like, yeah, okay. Come on, let's do it. I said, no, I was going to lift my sack up. And they, I'm like, all right, you're cool. He said, make it smile. I said, make it smile. What you talking about, man? Yeah, I'm like, because I, I don't even know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, listen. He talking about make it smile. I'm like, turn around, make it smile. I said, smile? I said, what, I said, what are you talking about? Make it smile? So I'm standing there, right, on everything I love. I'm standing there. I'm like, what is you talking? Turn around. Turn around and spread them. I said, what are you, what are you talking about? So I turned... <laughs> So you turned around and you spread them. I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna say, did you make it to the visit? When I was on the visit, I was pissed off. Oh my god! So basically, you saying you a smiley face nigga all the time? No, 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 no. It wasn't. Listen, that nigga. Hey, that nigga. So you so you had to meet to make your ass smile. Hey, hey, listen. But listen, the CEO told that nigga bend over, crack him open. No, listen, listen. He was like this. He bent over. Guess what music started playing? Smile for me. Oh Would you God. smile? <laughs> Would you just smile? That was a good song, Tupac and Scarface. That was actually me. a classic. I really I like that song. But so I get on. I'm like, so I'm they like, said, they said they said he told you to smile. You you bent over, bust out laughing. You did more than smile. <laughs> see, huh? see. So this your cakes right. was bust wide no, no, open. No, no. Come on, yo, what, not on duty. What Lord. is you into, Dev? That's why no. your name Devin Rodman. That's why his name Devin Bro, Rodman. Yeah. Your, your but your cakes was, was no, literally it? bust no, open. No, no. <laughs> No, that y'all, like, y'all boys. He real told spicy. you some shit niggas tell bitches in the club. Bust that pussy open. For no, a real CO. No, no. Bust that pussy open for a real CO. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he got. Listen, man. Listen, I'm gonna say this, man. He did it off with period. <laughs> I'm gonna say this though. I'm gonna say this to all to all to all the young you boys the out there. You got city boys down Look, twenty thousand points with this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna say this to all the young boys out there. I'm telling you, it costs too much to be a criminal. So when you think you living this lifestyle, you doing this and the third. Think about your cheeks getting busted. No, yeah. think about later on in life, you might be telling your stories from the cell to your your little think nephews. Think about a forty-seven year old white man looking at yeah, looking at your your. your. Listen, man, when listen, your cheeks got a work. permanent smirk, it, it ain't working. You man. Crack them open nigga, too many times. Hey, this nigga ass still smiling. <laughs>
it, 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 listen, it's not worth it. Look at you. you, you that's why he shitted filthy, on. Man. That's why he shitted on himself last time, right. last week, you know, the other day or whatever. You shitted on yourself right. when you farted. Him. Right, nigga Lying farted. Ex, and some shit came out. <laughs> he's both because he's so used man. to busting his cheeks open. Lord, Lord, yeah. Lord. Powered forward, coming to the court, Devin Rodman. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, spicy man. Hey, listen, man. This was the second episode that we had to give y'all this week. I'm sorry again, cuz. Give me a hug, man. I'm sorry. Oh, nigga, sorry first of all, yeah, first of all, let me just say something. Give me you, a hug, no, no, cuz. Let me just say something. Let me cool. just say something. You we know cool. don't start trying to wrestle wait, wait, with him or nothing. Wait, wait, I'm not going to do nothing. Wait. I'm not going to play. You notice know something though? I just want to say this before we get out of here. Y'all notice know he apologized to me. I didn't apologize back. Cuz he started it. No, 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 no. You know why? Because everything I do is thought out. So if, like, I blacked his eye, I'm not apologizing. You know why? Because he bought that. You hear me? See, Listen, he man, doing I'm shit not, off the fly. I, he grabbing me and shit off the fly, and you, let, let, you caught that. I can't remember let me just the last, hold on. I can't remember the last time I had to tell another grown man, I'm sorry. I don't do that because I don't fuck up. <laughs> Every listen, whatever. Listen. See you, some sorry motherfuckers. Listen, That's off, why y'all always apologize. Y'all, y'all, I'm, I'm coming, cuz. Can y'all hug it out? That's all. Can y'all hug it out? See, see, he, he don't want to be. I'm gonna hug it out if the nigga just told me he used to make his ass smile for a seal. Listen, listen, listen. That's your cousin. Listen, on anything I love, could we just hug it out and just get it over with, cuz? That's your cousin. No, listen. Let me tell you something. I don't want to go through. Let me tell you something. We don't. Don't. We. You don't hug a man if he tell you another nigga just told him. Crack your ass open and smile for him. That's Make your smile. family. Make a smile. Listen, come on, man. Let's, let's hug now. Man. What? No, that let's don't go together. <laughs> he was just making let's your ass over. smile let's and then you want to hug me? Let's, come on, cuz. No, up top. No, no, come on, give me a hug. No, no, no. What the fuck is type shit? I'm not doing like, it. Like, no, no, and he said it on some Ralph Dress fans. Give me a hug. Be mature, Gil. What are talking about? You did 20 years in jail. You asked nigga give you a hug. I ain't saying it like that. First of all, what type of nigga ask another nigga for a hug? That's my cousin, man. No, no, you just do shit. You just be like, what's up, my nigga? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Y'all family. That's still a hug. man ask a nigga for a hug. Give me a hug, cuz. What the fuck you talking about? No. the fuck? Cuz y'all had, listen, cuz y'all had a fight. Hug it out, man. you turn. Oh, you into something, Gil. You make it more than it is. You come get this nigga a hug. No, you because keep the cameras on. Just, you come give no, him a hug. Just because you put the hands on him, now that's you want to act tough with him. Won't you give him a hug? So that's what you and your niggas into, huh? Give me a hug. Nah, man, go give him a hug. Yeah, bro. come that's here, Don Michael that's Jr. Your cousin, that's your you cousin. call a nigga Don Michael Jr. Yeah, yeah. So come here, Don Michael Jr. <laughs> yeah, 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 give me a hug. Yeah, 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 that's how you niggas be. Give me a hug. Give me a hug, man. That's it. Come on, man. Yo, let's give me a hug, man. That's your cousin, man. Let's come on, man. Fuck y'all think We're going to piece it out. Let's just piece it out. You niggas go down 13 for No, because the last time y'all had physical contact, he was choking you, you bit him, and then y'all start fighting. I'm going to call you Samson Street Dev. Fuck is wrong with you. Let's piece it out, man. Come on, let's piece it out. Street low, <laughs> Locust Street low, and Samson Street. Hold on, hold on. Let's that, piece it is out, that man. the neighborhood you yes. Philly? Come on, let's man. piece it out. You it was a studio. It. It's a studio there. I didn't even know you that. knew it was Michelin Ness was there. Michelin Ness was there. What did you just call it? It was it was neighborhood and Michelin Ness. Neighborhood. Yeah, Michelin Ness. Michelin Ness was there. Don't try to act like that. You know what was there. Listen. And the power went forward. No, it was the Michelin Ness store. Samson Street. And you was in that studio before over there too. Locust Street low. We're bones in them. Hey, that's his new name. LS. Uh, no. Uh, LS. Uh, no. LSL. Logan Street Love. <laughs> All right, hug it out. Can we get him in the minute? Come on, man. Come All right, cuz. Come on, cuz. Bring, bring, bring it in. It's made out worth a game now. Appreciate y'all tuning in every week. I'm going to take the and hug. And it's just like that. I'm going to snatch your hug now. 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 Yeah. <laughs>